I'm sorry, defensively in the field until the eighth inning there and kind of gave it away a little bit? Actually, uh, I don't know if outside of Jordan Montgomery, Joel Seddon, and Grayson Griner, I don't know if uh, anyone looked very good out there tonight, to be honest with you. We uh, did make a few nice plays, but um, that wasn't South Carolina baseball tonight by any stretch. Now, I give that kid credit. He pitched a really good game. Uh, they had good stuff, and uh, we didn't we didn't do enough against him to put any pressure on him whatsoever. And and then uh, our defense uh, let our pitching staff down. So, um, you know, the runs that they scored, I guess we had that double play ball that Kmart kind of we threw that one in the left field and um, could have thrown the ball to second there on a bunt. And we chose not to and then couldn't catch the ball at first. And then um, just, just too many mistakes to win a game on the road in this league. Especially when you know you have so many guys out and DC gets hit in the head before before the game, do you feel like you know, y'all can't buy a break at that point? You know, I mean, you can look at it one way or the other. You can either uh, feel sorry for yourself, or you can strap it on and and uh, you know go out there and compete and fight against somebody and let the chips fall where they may. But I think we felt sorry for ourselves. It was disappointing. It was uh, that wasn't South Carolina baseball by any stretch of the imagination, and um, um, it was a dis- disappointing performance by us. Um, but give that kid credit, that pitcher, he, he, he stuffed us pretty good. Do you try to talk to the, the players during the game as they're facing them to sort of get them to slow down, maybe some of the uh, at-bats? Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we talk to them all the time. And, um, you know, it's hard to hit a baseball. And it's hard, it's hard to, for them to process what we're trying to tell them to do. Um, you know, when a guy's pitching like that, you got to do some things. And we didn't, you know, we couldn't get on via the bunt. We couldn't, he wouldn't walk anybody. And, and, you know, in the few balls that we did square up were caught outside of Grayson's ball. So, you know, when we're shorthanded like it is, you know, Kmart and Joey and, and Grayson and some of those guys have got to get some, you know, get some hits. And, um, and you know, Grayson, Grayson got a couple tonight and obviously a big home run, but you know, we, we, we didn't do enough. And uh, we could have won the game 2-1 to one if we'd have scrapped and called and fought a little bit harder and played a little bit better defense, but we didn't. We kind of tried to pride ourselves on pitching a defense around here. And, we pitched our tails off, but we couldn't play defense behind him. What did Marcus say to you after that throw? Did he did he know he made a mistake by even throwing yeah, it? No one with him? no one feels worse than Marcus about it. And um, you know, Marcus has been our most heady player all year, and uh, he got excited and tried to make a play. And uh, he didn't use his head and his baseball clock, and he knows more than anybody not to throw the ball right there. But he did, and um, you know, it, and it cost us. But but that's all right. Marcus is a he's the least of my worst. And just discuss going to Joel when, when you did a uh, 1-1 game there. Just what, what's going through your mind at that point? Well, he's a strikeout guy. He, he fields his position better than anybody, mm-hmm. and which gave us a chance to get out of the inning. And, uh, and it was our chance to win the game. I mean, you know, Jordan was throwing good. Uh, we just went to our guy to try to see if we could get out of that inning unscathed. And, you know, I think we would have had a really good chance to get out of it had we not thrown the ball in the double play ball or it wasn't a double play ball had, had, had Marcus not thrown the ball. But, you know, we, these kids are amateurs. They make mistakes. We made our fair share tonight, and when you make that many, you're not going to win on the road. Can you kind of give us the update on, on the on the guys, Max and Connor, DC? Do you expect any of those guys available this weekend? I, I don't know. I was hopeful at some point this week, but um, I, I don't know. I, I, we've been out an awful long time. I'm, uh, I'm beginning to wonder if they're ever going to be back, to be honest with you. But. Well, let's play with the guys that we got and they can go out there. Can DC play with his injury? Uh, he'll have to get evaluated tonight and again tomorrow, and, and we'll see. And we'll see. He got hit pretty good there. So, you know, and it was in the ear? It was inside of the head, and it yeah. grazed his ear on the way. Yeah, yeah you're inside of the head. So, so potential concussion, I guess? No, I, I don't know. I, they, that, I hadn't talked to Brainerd about that kind of testing and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, I, I don't know. If, uh, if it could be a concussion, it probably is, but but I don't think so. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I don't I don't think so. I mean, the kid is out there trying to get better, and you know, that bad hop and it hit him inside of the head. It's kind of how it's been going a little bit. But that being said, we can't take that out there between the lines once the first pitch is thrown, and that's where I'm most disappointed.